Our best interventions is the use of digital technology and the migration of all government services and revenue collection to a single pay bill. Since this measure was implemented, we have witnessed a significant rise in total revenues collected. Besides enhancing revenue collection, digitization has eliminated revenue leakage through corruption and theft. It is most important that we sustain this progress in promoting integrity, transparency, and efficiency in resource management. And for this reason, I direct that all agencies observe the December 31st deadline to finalize the migration to e-citizen platform. It is only right that I match this admirable commitment by the people of Kenya to do their part in getting the economy going and give an assurance that all taxes collected by government shall be put to their intended use and that no single shilling, no Kenyan shilling, shall be lost through embezzlement, theft, or corruption. I urge our justice, law, and order institutions led by the judiciary and the anti-corruption agencies to discharge their mandate without fear, favor, ill will, or prejudice. I also give my personal undertaking to support the timely prosecution of all those involved in corruption without regard to their social, economic, ethnic, political status, or connection, or any other consideration whatsoever. This is the minimum that is expected of, of us in fulfillment of our constitutional mandate, and Kenyans deserve no less. The story of our nation's sovereignty cannot be fully told without mentioning the fundamental karanta of our territorial integrity, economic prosperity, political democracy, the rule of law, and the integrity of our social fabric. Our national security apparatus have remained strong, a strong shield against terrorism, crime, and insecurity. As we continue to invest resources into the security sector, we continue to expect continuous improvement in its overall capacity to keep our nation's boundaries inviolable, our people's lives and property safe and secure. <clears throat> I cannot forget the public service. Every member of our civil service has been entrusted with a rare opportunity to make their unique contribution to national transformation. As such, they are at a most advantageous position to demonstrate our national values and principles of governance for the benefit of all Kenyans. Today, I appreciate you for being loyal servants, dependable professionals, and true patriots, and urge you to do more as our people's partners in the transformation of Kenya. Much has been given to you by the people of Kenya, and therefore, much more is expected of you. On behalf of the people, I shall hold you to the highest standards of efficiency, effectiveness, transparency, and accountability in serving our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, infrastructure development is a critical enabler for transformation of agriculture, delivery of health, job creation, and overall economic growth. As a result, our investment in road and rail network, electricity generation and connection, and water harvesting, storage and reticulation continue to be a critical component of our development strategy. A comprehensive multi-year plan is progressively being implemented to support the overall socio-economic development of the country. Our 
world, ladies and gentlemen.